Yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. I was looking at it a little bit this afternoon. It's a, a new role-playing video game that is leaving nothing to the imagination. So let me get this straight. Fox News likes to spread lies without doing any research about a game they never actually played. On um, oh, what is it played on the sex box? What are you twelve? Are you serious? That's ten fifteen. If this is a social injustice, he's got to he's got to do something about it, and I'm gonna do it right now. Martha McCullough's reporting is rubbish, make me sick to my stomach, you should be shot in the head in public view, and your retarded panel should be made an example, get face to face with the barrel and be executed too, Cooper says women shouldn't be viewed for sexuality, in reality she's wearing more makeup than a clown, they stupidly claim the game has nudity, maybe you should have played the game so you know just how ignorant you sound, hey Cooper why don't you shove it up your pooper, cause it's obvious the minimal research you did wasn't that deep, they need to shut up these bitches, put them back in the kitchen, shut their mouth, they're better yet, open up while on their knees. Jeff Geely was put on TV needlessly and cause they interrupted him so much he didn't get his message through. They're quick to trash it and end up like the masses over something as a little bit of blue bear ass and blue side too. They're misleading you with misinformation like Wikipedia or Wikimedia and it has got to stop. Isn't it crazy? Last time I saw a blue lady nude, it was a PG-13 X-Men produced by Who Wants Fox. It's not news, only make you look like fools. It's Fox News, here to misinform you. With no kids of age, the first panel member complains and says he won't let the game anywhere near or inside of his house. With his very attractive pedophile glasses, you stupid asses get off our TVs and never open your mouth. If you leave your kids alone in the home and they find the video game, then as a parent, it's apparent you're dumb. Cause if you're paranoid and these games will destroy their mind, then take the games and lock them all up as if it was a gun. They started debating why it doesn't have an adult rating. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to be up and blunt. You fucking no bitch, go choke on a nose dick. I'll take a post stick and put it through your asshole, then shove it up your cunt. All this attention and content mention will boost it all for the man. It has happened many times in the recent past. Wikimedia is the game that they play. It's so insane. The only logic came from the gay guy that went last. They're misleading you with misinformation like Wikipedia or Wikimedia, and it has got to stop. Isn't it crazy? Last time I saw a blue lady nude, it was a PG-13 X-Men produced by Who Else Fox. It's not news, only make you look like fools. It's Fox News, here to misinform you. Instead of selling your book, learn how to cook I won't apologize for giving you little to no respect Pardon me, cause my misogyny did obviously must logically have come from playing too much Mass Effect The fact you were able to show the footage in question uncensored essentially reveal lack of credibility With all your goofs and blunders, it's no surprise or wonder Everyone greets your newscast with such huge negativity You talk about something while knowing nothing about the subject Then expect to be taken very seriously I hope you're fine like Heath Ledger and get your head severed, brutal life victimized severely being repeatedly The seemingly hundreds of interruptions during discussion and factual errors make the guys at 4chan pissed Then Pit 15 has to go to extremes and guillotine the entire crew at Fox News till they no longer exist They're misleading you with misinformation like Wikipedia or Wikimedia and it has got to stop isn't it crazy last time I saw a blue lady nude it was a PG-13 X-Men produced by Who Else Fox? It's not news, only make you look like fools. It's Fox News, here to misinform you. So fuck you, everyone at Fox News. I'll hunt you, leave you in a bloody pool. <laughs> Sorry. I remember growing up, the news used to be something boring. It didn't used to be like entertainment. I mean, now I look at the news and there's no difference between it and Entertainment Tonight or Access Hollywood. It's ridiculous. 
It used to be they gave you the news and you formed your own opinion. Now they give you the opinion and don't deliver the news. Come on now, it's not just Fox News, it's all of them. For serious. Someone that, you know, something that calls themselves a news program just made up a completely false news story. I mean, there wasn't an ounce of truth to, to any of it. And the lack, the total lack of respect I have for Fox News. Well, I mean, I think that very few people really have respect for Fox News. Basically, everything they said about the game was completely false. Apparently. That would be an understatement yeah. to say that it was incorrect. That's how bad it was. Television news is not really about the news. It's about entertainment. It's about generating viewership and, and so you can sell ads. I mean, this is a type of story that, you know, is, is just bullshit and it will it get some traction out there and it, it's all about, be, it's like news entertainment. I mean, it's, it's, it's made up crap. Second thing is, okay, this woman, right? First of all, she's like darling, blah, 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 blah. She's I mean, sexualizing him. She was so concerned with how uh, video games portrayed women in like a sexist way. And then she referred to Jeff Keighley as darling. You know, and saying, I just know by the, the facts, darling. I go on by the facts. You know, all the facts were wrong. They were saying that, you know, it's mostly kids that play video games. But actually, the reality is 45% of people who play video games are aged 18 to 34. So, I mean, it just, the whole thing was total bullshit. It pissed me off. She's a, she's a psychology, like, uh, enthusiast or whatever they said in the beginning. Right? And so, I would say hobbyist, given her knowledge. Which is why I think they got a modded copy, because obviously this, these people have played through Mass Effect, and obviously they got a copy that, I guess, had the director's cut, because the copy that I have, and I bet the copy that you have, um, maybe show, like, a butt cheek, and then it's a very artful, I mean, it's, it's stuff you'd see in a PG-13 movie. Let me add them? I mean, what is this? What are they going to do, mud wrestling? Yeah, I know. Listen, she wouldn't be my first pick for a mate, either. I've seen the clip on YouTube, and the, the, the mere fact that I have actually seen the clip on YouTube um, states that it's not full, because uh, YouTube doesn't let you post full frontal nudity explicit sex stuff on their site. It's up there. It is like a movie. You ever see a movie, you see half a boob, and it has to get an X rating? I've never seen that before. It happens all the time. Yeah, I've seen PG-13 movies that show full frontal nudity. Why the hell aren't people going after bad movies and bad TV shows? It's because not all movies and TV shows are for kids, and people understand that. The problem is they think that all games are for kids. I really, like, I, I get the feeling that she's part of, like, the Fox Roundtable that's there often, and it just scares me that her voice is heard on, on more than one occasion on public airwaves. And Pen15 also says earlier, don't let your kids watch the PG-13 Titanic because it actually shows a lot more, and it does. The Titanic love scene actually is more graphically explicit than the one in Mass Effect. But that one's okay. The basis of this whole thing is not on any fact at all. It's just appealing to your emotions, right? So the people who listen to this, who watch this, right... They don't get an informed opinion. They don't get any information that's real. They just get this, you know, this garbage getting slung back and forth. And ultimately, they don't get an accurate or fair idea of what it is they're even talking about. So essentially, if you like video games, you are anti-family. And there's just no other way around it. Yeah, families should go away. I'm putting my foot down. I am anti-family because I like video games. They're freaking out over seeing half of a blue boob. Yeah. That's yeah. really all it is. It's blue. It's a half of a blue boob. And yeah. That's like you out. saw more in like X-Men the movie. At way more. When you saw, uh, what's you, that? Mystique? Rebecca Mystique. Remains. That's way go. closer to full front nudity than Mass Effect ever comes to. And way bluer too, probably. Oh yeah, way so, Ironically, she's wearing a blue dress, this woman in the video. But. <laughs> Calling Mass Effect, you know, basically pornography is just as false as putting news after Fox. I mean, there's there's nothing news about this. I was mad watching this. I got angry. If people in the media can get something that you know about this wrong, just imagine how wrong they are about all the other things you hear about that you don't know about. I noticed that a lot of people went on Amazon and found that author. I forgot what her name was. Cook. You know, I, I've heard Pen15 rap, and I, I don't want him to kill me.